guys. How are you today? We are here for my year 2017 for the month of October. Our prompt this month is the uh, word favorites. And um, you can take that a lot of different ways. One of the things you all know about me by now, and if you don't, I don't know why you don't. Maybe you're brand new to the channel, but one of my favorite things in art and creativity is watercolor. I love watercolor. Um, I love it. I don't know what to say about it except that. This is a really fascinating, interesting book called One Watercolor a Day, a six-week course exploring creativity using watercolor pattern and design by Veronica Lawler. Um, I will have the exact title and um, author's name of this book in the book list over in our Facebook group, My Year 2017. If you're not a member of the group and you'd like to be, uh, the link is in the description below, along with the new group that we're creating for 2018 and going forward. I will also try to remember to put the link to the book um, at Amazon over in the description. So if I forget, and it's not in the description on YouTube, somebody put it in the comments and I'll correct that A ASAP. Um, this is a really interesting book. I really am a big uh, proponent and fan of daily art practice, whether it's sketching or painting or whatever. There's lots of different lessons in here. One every day for six weeks. There are 40, I don't know how many days is that, 42 lessons. And they, she starts out with really great with the basics of the color wheel and materials and supplies. And the first lesson on day one is um, this one, and I love this lesson. This is just basically playing with your paints. So while we talk a little bit about this book and um, um, daily art practice, I'm going to do, I have these bookmarks cut here. This is 140 pound watercolor paper and I'm just putting plain water on here. I'm using inexpensive watercolor paints. Now, one of the things she talks about in the book is getting all your watercolor paints out and spreading them out on the table. Okay, I love watercolor, so I have a lot of them, and they just they wouldn't fit on the table. So I'm gonna just use this one I put recently in the seashell palette. Um, it's just inexpensive um, watercolor paints from Wish, but they're good to practice with. If you're not sure if you're gonna like watercolor, you've never tried them before, and you wanna try them, don't go get anything super expensive. Get something inexpensive um, and cheap and um, play with it. You'll get some nice bright colors. Let me zoom in. There we go. You'll get some nice um, colors out of them. It's not the same as working, of course, with an artist quality paint. Um, but don't go out and spend a ton of money on something that you're not even sure, honestly, that you're going to like. Um, and it's not about trying to paint anything, doing this kind of art practice. This is strictly about, what color is that? Oh, it's black. This is strictly about um, playing and mixing, learning how colors mix. Um, if you had the purple on here and you put orange, you would get um, some ugly, muddy shades. Um, likewise, if you used a blue that had too much yellow in it and was too green, you would, of course, get some ugly, muddy shades because you've got cool and warm colors in there together. So when I go to pick a red, I don't want to pick this one that's orangey. I want to pick this one that's more blue because it'll mix well with the other colors that are on here. And I am just going to play and add some colors. Go back to the purple. The one thing about these inexpensive watercolors, these were in tubes and when they dried in the palette, um, they cracked. Um, and that, I think, has to do with um, not having great binders in them. But see, so you can do something like that. Let it dry. You could doodle over the top of it. You could write words over the top of it. It's fun. It's interesting. It's unique. And it's play. And this book is just about playing with your paints and your watercolors um, in particular. Whoops. Let me go trying to go back out the other way. So I love books like this. If you have a local library, if you're doing art on a budget, um, see if they have this at your local library. You probably can search their card catalog online. If your local uh, one doesn't have it, maybe they can get it sent in from another one that's farther away. Um, 
There's lots of um, sites on the internet that you can get used books. Um, Amazon also has frequently used copies of books. Um, so when you go to the title, um, there'll be a little uh, link where you can um, see which ones um, that other people are selling that are used um, and gently used. It'll say what condition they're in. I do really like this book. I love daily art practice, and I can't for look forward to. Uh, honestly, I'm I'm not very far in the book, and I can't look. I look forward to finishing it. I can't wait. Um, there's all different kinds of things here, and you could, you know, do things like the wax drawing, and maybe you don't have all the supplies you talk about, but adjust it to be what you do have. Um, instead of using anything fancy, just use a um, a Crayola crayon. Um, or an oil pastel will actually give you similar effects because the oil pastel will resist the watercolor paint. Um, so the, the, this is great. These kind of daily practice books are fabulous. Um, and it also has some, uh, what do you call it, digital artwork in here, digital watercolors. If you have an iPad Pro um, and you have the Procreate app, you can do painting and drawing in there. So um, if you don't have actual real paints. So anyway, one watercolor a day, I recommend it. That's it for, for today. Um, don't forget to check out the video description if you're watching this on YouTube, the link for the My Year 2017 Facebook group, and our new group for 2018 and going forward are both in the video description along with the links to my tip jar. Um, there's a, a link to a site called Linktree. Um, it has all of my links everywhere on the internet. I can't hide from you. So you click on Linktree, you're going to find my website, my Etsy shop, my Redbubble store, um, my Spoonflower shop, like everything is there. Um, um, even my LinkedIn thing is there. Um, so check it out. If I've forgotten anything, leave a comment, let me know. That's it for today. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself. Make some art. Do a daily practice. It doesn't have to be perfect and you never have to show anybody if you don't like it. Don't worry about it. That's it, everybody. I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.